Yeah, Nico. It's kind of grounded. Nico made sure that because in that matchup, if Pillar catches you in the air, oh yeah, you're, yeah, you're you you're now trouble. are gonna eat a whole combo. But overall, Nico just played very solid. So we are gonna have Sundula versus, versus Twixie. Aegislash. Slash, <laughs> Twixie. Um, this might be a button check. Twixie saying that Chandelure's worst matchup is Sceptile. Sundula being the most capable Sceptile <laughs> in our bracket. Um, Twixie, I guess, is not playing any games. This is his first Evo as well, and he normally comes here with company. Okay. He's come here alone. He's in this alone. This doesn't feel like this a, a button check. So we are just seeing a lot going of folks right so into far. this. Twixie just kind of using Sacred Sword to beat out the Leaf Blade. Something that is just an incredibly strong tool as well as 4Y. Nice job getting the grab from on Sundula. Or from Sundula. Do you know, how do you feel about this matchup? Do you know um, too much about it or? Well, I feel like I have a decent amount of, of knowledge on it. I feel like if Sceptile can get some setups, because you see so much pressure right now coming out from Twixie, if Sceptile can get the setups that he desperately needs, but I mean, this wall pressure is just too much. If you keep applying it, he's not going to be able to get out. And uh, Aegislash Slash being so strong, it's just difficult. And that's what we saw. Calling Lapras, not letting him get set up with the buff, which is huge. There's some of the setups. Parry coming out. The recent patch also took away iframes on King Shield. That's what I meant to say, King Shield, my partner. Both characters, just huge setup characters. And if Aegislash Slash can't set up the buff, and Sceptile can set up his traps, it's all in Sceptile. Like, look at this. This is a very dominant round by Sundula. Exactly. We're seeing a difference in the gameplay. Sundula was able to set himself up a little bit more instead of being trapped in the wall forever. Ooh, nice Dula, job. Dula recognizing that Twixie went for the laser and not the swords and keeping himself airborne. That was really, really smart of him. Right now, Twixie just... If he loses this field phase, that's going to be it for this round. Tries to go for the bullet seed. It's not oh. going to connect for him. <gasps> okay. Nice grab. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure the heavy slam on block is grab punishable in field by Sceptile. But he got the grab anyway. But he's using special cheer. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't. He cannot start out with Lapras. So now Twixie can set up this round. We are seeing a little bit of poke. Or trying to set up with some pokes. Hitting him with the Victorine. Shouts to Zash Bell. That move is really good, by the way. It's, <laughs> it's hitbox. You would think, oh, like if I'm inside the V, it makes sense. But if you're above the V, it hits you half the time. <laughs> Nice job getting the Leaf Blade through that. He had to wait for the right opportune moment. Otherwise, he would have gotten punished pretty hard there. Twixie landing the instant JY. I think we're going to see a burst pretty soon here from Sundula. He can't really afford to get hit. Otherwise, he will die. And that attack buff is on right now as well. Twixie activating burst to keep Dula off of him. And as well as because if he can't set up his burst or um, his attack buff, a lot of his moves are no good. Goes for the Tarzan swing. That is going to connect. I'm not sure how the scaling works, but Aegis Slash does massive amounts of damage. So I feel like this is just going to end the round. But Burst Armor might keep him alive. And Rage. Yep. Yep, nice. So sometimes that move does a lot of damage, <laughs> sometimes it does none. So Duel still has a decent amount of Burst, and he's about to have Lapras on deck. All right, not able to activate his Burst here. He's going to use Lapras, get a little bit of pushback. Able <laughs> to activate Bullet Seed. Which was nice. He, uh, Twixie does decide to go for the Mew, gets the crit buff. But Sundula Ooh. not able to get in like he wants to. And Twixie's going to take game number one. In a situation like that, it, honestly, that was anybody's game. I agree. I think what we saw from whether it was first game with Twixie being completely dominant, I mean, there was no chance from Sundula to do pretty much anything that first round. Uh, second round, we saw Sundula start to get in, get his setups like he wanted to, and then punish accordingly. And I really liked that. And, and then the third round, hey, like you said, anyone's game. So I think that was really solid from both players. But Sundula went back to the support screen, making a switch. This Magius, what using, do you feel? Using this Magius, it's a, another support that I think will allow him to at least safely set up. But with this Magius, you still need the range to set up. Nice job from Twixie getting that counter wow, or that grab. that grab damage due to crit any attack buff. It is so massive every time you get that. It's scary. He, Aegis Slash just... Oh my gosh. So much damage coming out of this character. Look at that. Six HP that left for Sundula. Essentially two grabs are what even that up. Now he has to respect the mist. And all the buttons that Twixie can press. He is going to win the field. Even if he loses this round, he wants to get as much synergy as possible. Now, we do have an option here. Well, 4Y. 
<laughs> there was an option. Uh, it was to build up synergy as much as you could off of that one HP, similar to Shadow Mewtwo, you know? You're still not out for the count as long as you have one HP. But even so. Nice flash cannon coming out here. That does counter Pierce. All right, trying to set himself up here, but once again, half HP is already gone for Sundula. Twix Twixie. Twixie also playing completely different than he did the last round, using a lot more of his projectile. That was beautiful. That was and his excellent movement coming out from Twixie. And now he's sitting on attack buff and speed. All right, Burst is going to come out from Sundula. Goes for the justice. Not going to hit. That is minus on block. <laughs> That was such another fast 2-0 from Twixie. We're seeing a lot of that in these pools. A lot of really, really quick matches. We saw that with Nico. Uh, we're seeing that with Twixie. I mean, against uh, Twixie versus Mini Mini Bang Bang. That was fast as well. So, I mean, we're seeing a lot of these dominant players taking these games pretty quickly, I'd say. Like, there's definitely...